picked up these solar panels. Now I've got a real good deal on these. These I've got super cheap. I've got them at a quarter of market price. But these, these, I got at five pounds a piece because of, as you can see, the cracked glass. Now because of the uh, massive megawatt installations that are going up all over the world now, you will definitely find these from a similar source to me. And that is a salvage yard or a scrap man. I've got all of these off a company that basically collects them from when they're doing the big installs, takes away all the ones that they've got extra, which believe me is pallets worth, and all the ones that they break in the process because they don't handball these on, they use machines. I guess uh, it's cheaper to throw away loads of these than it is to pay more people to do a job in England. Now it's all good getting loads of these for, for real cheap, but you need to have the relevant charge controller to be able to use them all. Now at the minute the only charge controller I've got, which is uh, an older one I already had, is 40 amps, so for this I can really only put five together, but I'm actually going for four. And we'll do this in parallel, so then that should generate about 36, 30, uh, 39 amps, and they're all in full sun. I'll be putting them at 33 degrees facing south, which is that way, on top of uh, the shed roof. So, get cracking. As these are 24 watt panels, as you can see, the open circuit voltage 37, operating voltage 36, oh sorry, 30.6. Everything from here has got to be at least a 24 volt system. Obviously if you wire a couple of panels in the series, you can get, get a 48 volt system out of these, no danger. But everything else, 24 volt, so batteries. So here's the battery pack I've gone for. It's four of these 220 amp power lead acids, sealed. So minimum maintenance, just a bit of dusting. I've got these wired in series and parallel. So I've got 440 hours at 24 volts. Now at the minute, they've just come with a standard charge, as you can see, to 25.6. Now you need to get these hooked up before you can hook together any of the rest of your system, because all the charge controllers need to get the voltage they operate at from the batteries. So what I've done here, hooked a battery cable up, and another one over here to go to the charge controller, which will put the power into these batteries through this. As you can see, multi-point charging so this basically will take a higher voltage than the than the batteries and turn it into a higher amperage to put more power in so you generate power for longer periods of the day basically and uh, next step wire these two ends here into this so I've finished wiring the MPPT charge controller now and it's saying 25.8 on the batteries, whereas this is saying 25.6. What not to be expected that they'd be perfect, cheap Chinese things. Right, next it's to wire in the solar, where it says solar. So I've got all the solar panels in now. I'm going to be hooking them up in, in uh, parallel, all of them. But I'm running two strings. So I've got some real good cables and I've got lots of it. So it doesn't really matter about wasting some. Basically putting one good one with one bad one. Hopefully should maintain decent voltage and then run the cables back down here inside. Right, let's wire these up. So this is the back of the solar panels. As you can see, everything's wired in parallel. And then I'll wire these two strings in parallel into the charge controller. And that's the 1000 volts for the So, two strings all wired in now. Cloudy outside, it's December, so the sun's real low in the sky. And uh, we're charging. One amp coming in at the minute off the 1000 watts, or well, 1000 and a bit watts, so it's a roughly about 150 watts coming in at the moment still in this shocking weather. So, pretty good. Happy with that. Happy with that indeed. Oh, just ticked up. Ticked up 0.1 of a volt there. Happy days. Huh. Been a little while. 
ticking up nicely. One amp, two amps going in at all times in this bad weather. Still good. So to use the power now, if I'm going to hook in some 24 volt stuff into where it says load. Now if you're going to put more than just a light on this, you basically want to put this to a little uh, 24 volt breaker box and then to all your other stuff. Same as you basically use this as you, like you would a house for your mains grid, basically. Your input, then breaker box, then other stuff. But if you're uh, doing my option and you want mains power rather than just 24 volt, you need to go for an arrangement like this. So this is 500 watt inverter. And that is those two cables there hooked on to the battery. And flick a switch. There we go, 220 volts, mains power. Right, let's see if this little Christmas light works. Oh, look at that. Nice. So, that's uh, the solar install complete.